Okay, this is a test of the Arkin Zulu's HD520R um, using the LRF and ballistic calculator just to see how the ballistic calculator deals with the other reticles um, in the scope which are not first focal plane. So what we've got at the moment is we've got the very small cross reticle which is in yellow and I'm set up the profile for 22 subsonic zero at 50 yards and you can see that wall is only 49 meters away so when I press the range button you can see that the red holdover mark is pretty much right on top of the yellow cross. If I move to something that's a bit further away for example that mark on the roof which is about 88 meters you can see now it's putting a red cross distinctly below the yellow cross. So the red cross becomes the aiming mark. And if I go up to longer range, which is about 150 meters, and I hit the range button there, you can see that the red cross is substantially further down to reflect the, the increase in range. Now what I think you probably can't see is I also have the pip switched on. And in the pit box, there is no red cross. In the pit box, it's the dial-in method of ballistic calculation that happens there. Simply, the reticle moves to the aiming point. And if I, at the moment, I'm looking at the aiming point on the main screen, which is that branch cutting from right to left. And if I look at the pit, the reticle in the pit is in exactly the same spot. It's bang in the middle of that branch, moving with it sticking from left to right. So the PIP, the ballistic calculator, does work in the PIP and does that for all the reticles. It doesn't put a holdover mark. There's no holdover mark in the PIP for any of the reticles in any range or any magnification. I've changed the aiming method from holdover, where it puts a red mark on the, on the reticle or below the reticle, depending what reticle is used. I've now changed to dial-in, where the reticle is simply the center of the reticle is simply shifted to the point of aim. So if I put it on this, this 50 meter wall, you're not going to see really any reticle movement. If I take it out here to that roughly to that stone, you can see the reticle shifted down. Put it back to range and off, range it again and hit the ballistic calculate button. You can see that the reticles move down, so then to hit that, I have to move the rifle up to put the reticle on the target. Similarly, if I do that on the 150 yard tree, range it, and you can see the reticle dropping. And again, what you can't see is because the pip doesn't get displayed in the video, when I'm looking in the pip, the, the aiming mark in the reticle and the pip always remains the same. So when the reticle in the main screen drops, the image shifts in the pip such that the reticle is in the same position as the reticle in the main screen. Absolutely terrific. Really, really impressed with this.